There's a push here in Virginia for the entire community to support a minority. Despite troubling data of suicides and murders, Tennis reporter McKinley Struther has the hope-filled work happening right here in our corner of the Commonwealth to support those who are transgender and gender non-conforming. Well, June is all about celebrating pride. It still is scary to be trans here. It is also a time to recognize how much work still needs to be done, say activists. Those fears are real. So far in 2021, at least 28 transgender or gender non-conforming people have been murdered. Most are Black or Latinx, and most in southeastern United States, which includes Virginia. For a white, trans, middle-class woman like myself, it's a very different experience than for a poor Black trans woman. Dr. Samantha Rosenthal is the author of Living Queer History. She discovered Roanoke has a deep trans history with support groups dating back to the early 80s. In our area, I think that we have this little bubble. But there is room to grow, according to Wesley Cook with the Roanoke Diversity Center. We're already under a different kind of stressor that we have to deal with on top of everybody else's everyday stressor. A recent study found more than half of transgender and non-binary youth have seriously considered attempting suicide in the past year. Dr. Laura Farmer is a licensed professional counselor and head of USAGA, a peer-based support group with LGBTQ plus youth and allies. Isn't that the safest space mm -hmm. where there's no pressure to define yourself in some sort of rigid way or put yourself into a specific box? Despite the terrifying statistics and adversity, you'll still find hope, happiness, and a helping hand. That helping hand extends from youth saga to ladies and gents of the Roanoke Valley, transparent to house of expression. I detail all of those resources and provide links so that you can get the help if you need it on our website, WSLS.com. In a newsroom tonight, I'm McKinley Struther, 10 News, working for you.